I'm setting a budget of $3,000 to find the cheapest, but also wildest tech on the entire internet. I'm gonna make sure I find things you've never seen before. Okay, wildest gadgets. There's already a lot going on here. Not quite what I had in mind. Anti-gravity physics magnets. So you put these ones on your fingers and it turns them into drumsticks. That's right up my alley. What's the weirdest mouse we can get? So you can actually get a fully working mouse that's actually a pen. This one has incredibly high ratings, but I've never seen anything like it. This one's a vertical mouse. And I know this has been a category of products for a while now, but it's just, just so alien to me. I wanna try it. Let's see what we can find on Etsy. No way. <laughs> a personalized chocolate smartphone. And it actually comes in a smartphone box. What? Oh, this is too good. It says send a screenshot of your home screen and they will print it in edible paper on the phone. So we can go milk, dark, white, gold. Gold chocolate. I really, really like this site. It's less about big companies selling factory produced products. It's more like individuals at home who've made really like quirky things. But that makes it really, really fun. Away. PlayStation and smartphone bath bombs. I bet people have made some really creative styluses on here. Wait, so this is a stylus that you control with your mouth. Oh, so it's built for people who are paralyzed and who can't actually use their hands to hold styluses, so they have to control their phone with their mouth. Let's give it a go. Wait, why is there a gun? I'm so confused. This is so beautiful, my husband is gonna love this for his birthday, what? Ah. So you know how I use like pretty much any excuse to dress up in a suit, right? Well, these are cufflinks to wear with the suit, but they've got a circuit board design. Very, very happy with this purchase. Oh yeah, and thanks to Surfshark VPN for making this video possible. So this is apparently the best massage gun in the world, but it's 549 pounds. Ah, can we justify it for the sake of it being really, really cool? I think we can. Wait a second. Is that a single AirPod? Ah, we're on wish.com again. <laughs> I wonder if there's such thing as like a mini earphone. Something that like disappears into your ear so no one can see you've got something in. Wait, what? What? How is that even? We'll buy it and we'll try it. What is this? It's like a fan that you wear on your waist. Not a bad idea to be honest. Okay, let's just try gadgets. Well, that's pretty cool. You get like wrist mounted lights, like a budget Iron Man. This looks like something out of like a, a James Bond film. So you put it on your head and you can pick the magnification of each individual eye. I wonder if they have any PS5 gadgets. <laughs> what? How does this site work, man? Oh look, so they have PS5s in stock, but they're twice the price of what you would get in store. PS5 shell. That's kind of cool. Let's get gold. Oh, you can get a gold strip for the controller as well. Why ever not? Wait, can you just buy testosterone tablets? Glow in the dark tape and it's free. Wait, you just told me it was free. Aren't there like laws against this? I have always been curious. Wish sells these enormous mats and rugs for like ridiculously cheap prices. Can they be any good? It's like an optical illusion. You get the biggest size possible. Ah, the Samsung, my favorite company. I'm actually a big fan of like magnetic toys like this. And that is very cheap. Oh, man. Can you imagine buying your toothbrush on Wish? Well, that's funky. So this is a Huawei knockoff, but it doesn't look like the actual Huawei phone. Okay, they've got a Wish.com version of the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. The phone with a screen on the front and a screen on the back. Do you think they've managed to recreate the screen on the back? Up to an extra 2% off? Is that meant to be an incentive? Who says on their actual product description, expensive, but very cool? What is that? It looks so... Odd. <laughs> Aromatherapy diffuser. Well, I'm assuming that was meant to say display at night. Wait, is that a lightsaber? How does that even work? Very intrigued. I've got a bit of a budget left. I just want to get one thing that's just crazy. Well, that might just fit the bill. So instead of just being a standard speaker that kind of fires outwards, it fires outwards and upwards, almost like showering the room with sound. All right, we're going with that. Now let's fast forward a month when hopefully everything's arrived. I am in shock at how fast all this arrived. I was fully expecting it to take three months like it did last time, 
This all arrived in two weeks. So we're gonna start with the cheapest stuff from Wish.com, move on to the handmade stuff from Etsy, and then try the most bizarre, most expensive stuff from the wider internet. Alrighty. Is this part of the lightsaber? Definitely something in the bottom. Maybe this is part of the test. Maybe we've got to use the lightsaber to get the lightsaber. <laughs> Stick to the knife. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Oh, I need to read my lightsaber instructions. There we go. Oh, this is how they do it, isn't it? The true test of a lightsaber is can it slice through a banana? Are you ready? Mm. Oh, Simba, can you join me from the dark side? Go on, I believe in you. Cats these days. This is our very, very curious and futuristic looking subwoofer. It's a nice heavy bit of gear. Power on. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Wish is delivered here. These are proper mechanical keys on the front, and like the entire finish does actually look as crazy as it did in the photos. I guess I'm just used to being disappointed, and this is not a disappointment. Power off. And also, look, so if you tap this button, it cycles between all the different lighting modes. Shockingly good. This is almost going suspiciously well for a mystery unboxing. All right, hit me. All right, let's start with a big one. Of all things, for some reason, like this is one of the ones I've been most excited about. Amazing. The question is, is it gonna work? It's not the best quality mat, as I guess you'd expect for the price. It's a bit creased up, but you tell me if you can see an optical illusion. So I think we've got it to the perfect angle, such that... Ah. Oh. Damn it. Oh my God, okay. Wait, this is it. This is our single AirPod. It's tiny. Some things, you gotta see them to believe them. Look at that. So this is the case of a real pair of AirPods Pro. They've literally halved it. I can't even really complain about the sound either. It's probably about on par with Apple's EarPods, which is, you know, not the highest benchmark in the world, but they are a lot more expensive and not wireless. Pretty premium. Everything snaps in place. It's nice magnetic packaging. Bob's your uncle. This feels a bit like the earphone equivalent of going into a shop and buying one sock. What do we have here? Oh, PS5 controller skin. I feel like customizing tech is actually one of my favorite things to do. We should also have a PS5 shell somewhere. Oh. Oh. Ah, that's nice, I think. So in my head, I was buying gold, but I feel like with this kind of finish, what I've actually ended up getting is like tortilla wrap color. Oh God, that's obnoxious. All right, PS5 controller. What have I done? What have I done? I've turned it from iconic to dusty. <laughs> it looks like those clothes that used to be white, but then they got put in the wash far too many times. And the, <laughs> and the controller, it's really, really bad. But hey, on the bright side, I may be the only owner in the world of a Tortilla Edition PlayStation 5. <laughs> I might just keep it like this. Give people a free laugh every time they come look at it. Oh, it's our, it's our waste mounted cooler. That's not a sentence you say every day. All right, so I think the idea is you clip it onto your waist, you put your jumper on top, and then you turn the button on. And I'm slightly concerned this is just gonna blow my jumper up, but we'll see. Oh, oh. I mean, it's far too loud to do any kind of serious work while it's on, but the cooling works. I think the first holiday I go on after lockdown, I would probably take this. Okay, that's our tape. A lot thinner than I was expecting. Okay, I am proud to present a flower or maybe a wind turbine, depending on how you look at it. So we basically got to charge it up for that. Huh, probably take this down now. Oh yes. This feels like my initiation process to becoming a spy. 
So for each one of your eyes, you can change the magnification. So it's on 25 times right now. There it goes. Oh, what? The focusing distance on these is phenomenal. And they've got lights in them as well. I know they look like something out of MI6, but I think these were designed to inspect jewelry. That's not a good idea. All right, so we've got the world's smallest iPhone from our last video in this series. That is a phenomenal amount of detail. Could you imagine like rocking up to a club in these? Yes. So these are clearly our smartphones, as the front of the box makes very clear. This, I believe, is our Huawei P50 Pro. Uh, I don't think that looks like the actual P50 Pro is gonna look, but credit to them, they have designed a different looking phone. Like at least it's not just a Samsung design with the Huawei name slapped onto it. It's welcoming me, it's very friendly. I think we've just broken a record for the ugliest front of a phone I've ever seen in my life. That bottom bezel combined with that? What is that? So it's a dual hole punch, but there's only one real camera in there. The other one is completely software. The positioning is off and for some bizarre reason, it's joined onto the top bezel. It really does make you wonder. LG has just left the smartphone market. How are these guys still in business? <laughs> and the other phone we have is a Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. I was super excited about this one because I wanted to see if they could replicate the rear screen of the real phone. Oh no, oh no. So instead of actually having a proper rear display, they've just put the numbers 2021 in there. It's actually such a shame because I genuinely think that compared to the real Mi 11 Ultra, I prefer that finish. And just generally, they have kind of nailed the likeness of the phone. Oh yeah, and this one has a headphone jack. The screen is about as poor as we expected, but hey, they have at least created Xiaomi's UI. I'm not actually sure what's in here though. Is that 100? In my head, we were getting a full cube of these. That actually might be it. That said, these are actually not bad quality at all. And tell you what, this is a tech channel. Let's see if we can make a phone out of this. The magnets are too strong for their own good. Like, you can't make anything with a square side because it just becomes a bangle. <sighs> it's Etsy time. I'm super, super curious about those huge boxes at the back. But also very excited about this one because I'm really hungry and I think we've got our chocolate phone here. So I'm gonna start with that. So this is meant to be gold chocolate. I've got no clue what that's gonna taste or even look like. Oh, okay. I mean, it literally looks like the PS5 from earlier. It's not a hugely appetizing color, I'm not gonna lie. But you know, the one cool thing is they asked me to send a screenshot of my home screen. So I did, and that's what's actually on there. So I guess the question is, which app do I want to eat? It's also got my 58,634 unread emails. I think that's probably a good place to start. It's actually really good. And if you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be succulent. Hmm. Can we make more of these videos? Can I just tell people I'm on a smartphone only diet? What is that? These are the microscopic earphones. Very, very curious about this one because I mean, so far, Wish has not let us down. Pretty much on every single product so far, they have delivered, but this can't be as small as they said it was gonna be, right? Here we go. Oh, for goodness sake. It's just a pair of earphones. Actually, wait, it's just one earphone. What, what is it with this site? Expectations versus reality. No need to guess what this one is. The mouth stick stylus. Kind of nervous about this one. So it's got some sort of conductive coating on the end, presumably so that it can replicate the touch of your finger. You're meant to put it in your mouth and then use it on your phone. Hmm. Camera. Take a selfie. Oh dear. Let's see if we can make a call. Hello? Hello? I'm just calling you off my stylus. What? Okay. Why do you sound like that? I've got a stylus in my mouth. I don't know what to do with that information. All right, bye. On a serious note though, for anyone who has to use one of these, 
Mad respect. If this is what I think it is, we are in for a treat. Uh, what is that? I wonder if that's like excess from the bath bombs I've made. We're keeping this between us, but I actually don't hate the idea of a bath bomb. Whoa! Check that out! That's awesome! We've got another one. We've got another one. We've got another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, these are the iPhones. Check that out. Should probably rethink that smartphone only diet. That is literally the perfect Etsy product. Not really sure what to expect here. Oh, it smells like a, like a kid's suite. PlayStation 1 controller, water. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh, that's some action, look at it. But as expected, <laughs> we have gray water. Who needs a bath around here? Between us, bath bombs are kind of fun. And that leaves us with, I believe, our cufflinks. Oh, I like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure what all they've done is just taken a circuit board and chopped it in random places, but I'm such a sucker for it. I feel like there's only one way to show these in action. Okay. I feel like I spend more time in shirts and ties in these videos than I do t-shirts. <laughs> All right, time for the wider internet. I think we'll start cheaper and then go to the most expensive stuff. Now ask me. Oh. Such an unusual shape. It definitely looks like something's wrong, but apparently these are meant to be better for your ergonomics than normal mice. The Orbit track ball. <laughs> That's next level. It's like a mini bowling ball. Very funky looking, I've got to say. So you get this stand that comes with it, and I think you can just leave it like that. All right, so this vertical mouse, I know it looks like something from an alien planet, and I've never used one in my entire life, and yet it feels like a natural extension of my hand. It just glides along the table, and I feel like I've been using this for my whole life. Also, I like the fact that just everything is soft. Soft matte finish, soft buttons, soft scroll wheel, big fan. I'm giving this an eight out of 10, the mouse that I didn't know I needed. All right, going a level above on the weirdness scale, we have the Orbit mouse. Now, this thing is incredibly sticky. It doesn't budge at all, but that's because it doesn't need to move. You control everything with this trackball, which is incredibly smooth, by the way, and this scroll wheel on the side of it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be faster to use than a normal mouse or a vertical mouse, but I love the fact that someone has really gone back to the drawing board and rethought how to make a mouse. That's cool. But I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 because even though I love the concept of it, I feel like I've been spoiled by this vertical mouse. Like that just feels way more comfortable to me than whatever I'm doing over here. And finally, the pen mouse. Now, because this is shaped like a pen and because the optical scanner is there, it basically means you can use it anywhere. Like I can control my cursor just by going on my laptop. I could use the table. I could use my lap if I wanted to. And I'm just surprised how responsive it all is. Oh yeah, and the other side of it, over here, that is a stylus for your phone. So really, that's a nine out of 10. I was expecting that to be a fun, but kind of useless gimmick, but I am shocked how well it works. And now, a virtual drum kit. I actually used to play the drums a lot as a kid. This might be the modern day equivalent. So you get this mat, which you lay out. You get these ring thingies. So these things basically have sensors at the bottom and these are color sensors. So what you can do is you can program a certain sound to play when you touch a certain color. For example, if I touch this green box here, it plays a green sound. And so with a pad like this, you can play what you want to play. All right, let's amp this up. Get ready for this. Getting down at the disco. All right, the Feel Flux skill set. This is basically a tool that, oh, who am I kidding? It's a toy. We're actually getting a bit of a warning here. Very strong magnet, exclamation mark. Oh, could you imagine getting your finger stuck in between there? So through something called Lenz's Law, apparently dropping a magnetic ball through an aluminum tube will apparently slow the ball down. The ball never touches the insides of the tube, but it creates a magnetic field, which reduces its acceleration. Let me try this. <laughs> okay, you get the point. 
There we go, our second most valuable item in this video. It's basically a speaker filled with loads of speakers, all firing in different directions to try and simulate a live performance, apparently. Like a like an A plus factory smell right there. It's weirdly soft for a speaker. It's almost like a like a piece of furniture. All right, five hundred pounds, seven omnidirectional speakers. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Honestly, I'm not blown away. Like, yes, you can get a good amount of bass out of it. It's a thick unit, and I do like the fact that I can walk around and from any angle, it pretty much sounds the same. But for that kind of sound quality, would I pay 500 pounds for that? Okay, well, yeah, I did pay 500 pounds for that, but should you pay 500 pounds for that? Probably not. Should you pay 500 pounds and get 12 of these instead? Sure, why not? So, so excited about this one. I really need a massage. It's got a real like Apple vibe with the packaging. So the one I picked here is product red, just like Apple does. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm dying for a massage. <laughs> wow. I mean, fair enough because this was expensive, but I am impressed with the packaging. Very, very clean. Been so long. I've got a couple of batteries here. So I'm just gonna grab this thing and slip it right in. Oh, oh, oh. It's like getting punched a thousand times a second. Maybe it's finally time for me to enter YouTube boxing. Just holding it is so therapeutic. Alright, let's see if I can punch through. I wonder if there's a higher setting. Probably isn't recommended use. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> so many emotions. It's like having a hundred people pummeling your back. That is really good. <laughs> right, I should probably start cleaning my room now. Okay, at this point, you probably already know what a VPN is. If you either want to browse the internet anonymously, change the location of your device to another country to avoid censorship or watch TV shows from that country, or even just to escape data throttling from your internet service provider, then a VPN is the way to go. But once you've decided that, then the question really is, which one? And at least from what I've seen, there is no other VPN that's offering close to what Surfshark is. Unlimited number of users and 24 seven support for this kind of price. If you do use the code BOSS, then you get an 81% discount and three months for free, which takes the price to $2.49 per month. We literally spend more on paper clips than that. Oh yeah, and it also has the option to remove ads and trackers while browsing. To find out if you're being watched by a hidden camera right now, I've got a video right here. Or for the last massive unboxing in this series, that's gonna be right here. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one. But as you know, the true test of a lightsaber is can it... the force. <laughs>